Hey everyone, it's Mike from Big Buy Media, and today we're doing a follow-up on the MKBHD Smooth Zoom video. So, we had a comment from Ecto Productions saying, close, but there's no smooth easing like MKBHDs, that's what I'm looking for. And after looking at it again, they're right, it's not as smooth as MKBHDs, it could be a little bit smoother. So what we really need to do is add in an ease in and ease out effect to this. This is going to kind of keep it slow at first, speed up the zoom, and then kind of slow down the zoom back a little bit. So gonna show you that, and it's gonna be in a very different way what I did before. So originally I was trying to get it so that I could lead into other tutorials about using Fusion, uh, which is why I had you go in that particular direction. Uh, but now I'm gonna show you potentially an easier way and I don't know, also show you how to add the ease in and ease out effect on, well, almost any effect that you have to. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so now we're in DaVinci Resolve and everything we're gonna be doing is actually gonna be done on the edit screen right here. So I'm gonna find where I want to zoom first, which is gonna be about right here. And I'm actually gonna set a keyframe. So to do this, I'm just gonna come up into the inspector on the top right and on the zoom section, cause that's what the effect that we're looking to do. I'm gonna click the little diamond and that's gonna set the keyframe. Now I need to find where I want the zoom to stop. So it's gonna be right about here before I start talking. So now I'm gonna click the diamond again, and this is gonna set another keyframe. So just like the last video, uh, you can navigate back and forth by clicking the left and right arrows, and it'll automatically snap you right to where you're looking to go. So this is cool and all, but we need to now zoom in and also make it smooth. So what I'm actually gonna do is select the clip. On the bottom right, you'll kind of see this little curve icon. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and click on that. Keep in mind, you do have your X and Y axis linked. So whatever I do on here, which is zoom Y, it's also gonna affect zoom X. And so you'll see right here, these two dots represent the two keyframes in the clip that we just added. So if I go over here, you'll see there are little diamond keyframe icon with a left and right. And again, you could just click left and right there to navigate between the two. If I go ahead and click on our zoom, our, our second keyframe that we set where we want it to be zoomed in, I could just click and drag this up and this is actually going to zoom. So you could see on the top right in the inspector, even the numbers change. So typically I like to, I'm just gonna kind of exaggerate this a little bit and you'll see why in a second. This selection is for linear. We wanna smooth this out. So we want an ease in and ease out effect. So we could go ahead and do this by um, on this one, we're gonna click the third one. And so this is gonna let us adjust the curve before and after. And as you can see, this line is adjusting accordingly. So if I go up to here, you'll see the zoom is at like four on here. It's zoomed in even more. It's a little bit ridiculous. So we don't want to zoom in more than we have to. We want it to kind of slow down and then stop. So you're actually gonna wanna get this curve. Um, if my mouse will select it. There we go. As flat as possible, almost like a straight line, um, because that's what is really going to smooth and ease in, or, or ease out, I should say. Naturally, we're gonna wanna do this in the beginning as well, so then you can select your original keyframe or you can navigate with your arrow. And on this option, I'm going to click the first option uh, since that's gonna add in our curve tail on the right side. And here again, it should be about the same. So this should be almost like a straight line. And now you'll kind of see this S shape, which is really, if I go ahead and click on play, it's just not as smooth. Like you'll see that it does speed up and then slow down a bit. Obviously the zoom is way too far, but the reason why I did this is to get the shape. And so then I could actually select this frame and then we could go down and adjust this to, that's not what I wanted. Now I could actually select this keyframe here. Again, make sure it is selected. Uh, so if your point is out here, it will mess up. So just go ahead and select that keyframe. And then I'm gonna fix this and change it back to 1.2. Now this should keep our curve shape, I and mean, that's why I did it exaggerated in the beginning, uh, to save you some time of having to look at this very small line and trying to make sure it's straight. So now if we look at this, 
it's just not as smooth as MKPHD. You will see uh, the, my curve line needs to be adjusted a little bit, but you get that ease in and ease out. And there you are. Hopefully that helped you out. If it did, please give us a like and a subscription. It would be greatly appreciated. It really does help us out, especially in the beginning, like right now. And uh, if you have any other ideas for tutorials or anything else that you need help on, throw it in the comments. We'll love to tackle it. Till next time.